hello friend now today we are going to discuss the new topic of calculus it is the continuity of a function <coughs> now see <coughs> this is a definition of continuity of a function at a given point first of all note this we have to check the continuity at the given point not the total function now see what is the definition of continuity a function fx it is said to be a continuous at x equal to a continuous means limit of function this is same as the value of function this continuity it depends upon these two term one is the limit of function and second it is the value of function so if the limit of function and value of function both are equal then the function it is said to be a continuous function otherwise it is said to be a discontinuous function now the same definition we can write in this form if limit from left is equal to limit from right is equal to value of function this is the notation for limit from left limit extends to a minus minus means it is the limit from left is equal to this is the notation for limit from right extends to a plus means it is the limit from right is equal to if a means it is called the value of function if at the given point a it is called the value of function so first of all remember this definition if limit from left it is same as limit from right is equal to value of function then we say that function it is said to be a continuous function now see we are written this is the definition of continuous function a function fx it is said to be a continuous at x equal to a continuous means limit of function this is same as the value of function so this is what the definition of continuity so first of all remember these two things for the definition of continuity what is the requirement first of all this limit of function it should be a existable limit this is the prior condition if limit does not exist means we cannot compare with the value of function that may definitely it is the discontinuous function so for continuity what is the requirement limit of function it should be exist now when we say that the limit of function it exist limit exist means limit from left it is same as the limit from right if the limit from left and limit from right if they are equal if limit from left and limit from right if they are equal and has the finite value then we can say that the limit of function it is exist and what is the second prior condition the value of function it should be well defined if value of function if suppose this is undefined that means again we cannot compare with the limit of function so obviously it is the discontinuous function so first of all these two things for the continuous function first of all limit of function it should exist limit exists means limit from left and limit from right they are always equal and what is the second prior condition the value of function it should be well defined now let us discuss one example for continuity so here is the example now suppose if we take the function as x square minus 9 upon x minus 3 obviously this function it is valid for every term except this 3 because if you put x equal to 3 then 3 minus the denominator it is 0 so this function it is undefined for x equal to 
सो एफ एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस नाइन डिवाइडेड बाय एक्स माइनस थ्री सो ऑब्वियसली दिस फंक्शन इट इज डिफाइंड फॉर एवरी वैल्यू एक्सेप्ट दिस थ्री एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू सपोज सिक्स फॉर एक्स इक्वल टू थ्री नाउ सी we have to check the continuity of this function at this point x equal to 3 now see if you observe this given function very minutely then what is the given function this is x square minus 9 divided by x minus 3 now if you factorize this numerator as x plus 3 x minus 3 Divided by this denominator x minus 3 get cancelled. So what is the remaining term x plus 3? So if we observe this function, so this is nothing but just x plus 3. What is this function? This is nothing but just x plus 3. Now see, if you plot the graph of this function, suppose y is equal to x plus 3. This is nothing but x plus 3. So let us take f x as y. So, if you plot the graph of this function y equal to x plus three, then this is the shape of that graph. So, this is suppose the graph of x plus three, and this is suppose x equal to three. Now, see. This is the graph of the function y is equal to x plus three. This function it is nothing but x plus three. Now this function this is valid for every point except at x equal to three. For x equal to three, this function it is undefined function. So for x equal to three, this is undefined. Undefined means just we put here some circle. For x equal to three, this function y equal to x plus three or x square minus nine upon x minus three, this function it is undefined for x equal to three. So this is the current position of this graph now. Now what is the second condition? At x equal to three, we are given the value of function equal to c. This is suppose six. At x equal to three, so this is the point x equal to three. We are given the value of function equal to six. So x equal to three, this is the value. So just we fill this circle in dark way. So now this is the continuous way. So see, if we plot this graph. See what is the logical definition of continuous function. Continuous function means if we draw the graph without lifting the pen. This is called the continuous curve. Discontinuous means with the with break. So this graph, this is called the discontinuous function. Continuous function means graph can be drawn without lifting the pen. It is called the continuous function. And if you suppose lift the pen, then the graph it is said to be a discontinuous function. Now see, this is the continuous curve. we can draw this graph without lifting the pen so this is the continuous function so this is the graphical definition or the logical definition of continuity continuity means if we draw the curve without lifting the pen then it is called the continuous function so obviously this is the continuous function now see what is the second definition or what is the mathematical definition of continuity continuity means if limit from left is equal to limit from right is equal to value of function then the function it is said to be a continuous function now see what is the meaning of limit from left limit from left means x approaches towards 3 from negative direction from left hand direction Now this is x equal to three. This is the given point. Now if we approaches x equal to three from left hand direction, then our function approaches towards near about six. This is the value of six. If we approaches x equal to three from left hand direction, then our function approaches 
toward 6 toward 6 means this is near about 5.9 suppose or we can take this value as 5.99 suppose or we can take very near to 6 means it is suppose 5.9999 and so on so when we approach x equal to 3 from left hand direction our function approaches towards very near to 6 so our left hand direction this function approaches to suppose 6 minus value so it is near about to 6 now limit from right means when we approach x equal to 3 from right hand direction then our function approaches towards 6 6 from positive direction see when we approach x equal to 3 from positive direction or from right hand side then our function approaches towards 6 plus value this is just like 6.01 or 6.001 or 6.00001 and so on this is very very near to 6 this is the exact value 6 so see if we approach x equal to 3 from left hand direction then our function approaches very near to 6 it is just like 5.9 5.999 5.99 .9. so it is just like 6 minus when we approach x equal to 3 from right hand side then our function approaches to 6.01 suppose 6.0 so this is again very very near to 6 so this is right hand limit it is suppose 6 plus and what is the value of function at x equal to 3 our value of function it is exact value this is 6 so these three numbers are very very near to 6 so we can take this as a 6 so limit from left it is 6 limit from right it is again 6 and value of function it is again 6 so see what is the definition of continuity if the limit from left limit from right and the value of function all these three values are equal then the function it is said to be a continuous function so obviously this is the continuous function so this is the graphical representation of this example now let us discuss some graph for continuity and the discontinuity now see how to check the continuity of function if the limit from left is equal to limit from right is equal to value of function then the function it is said to be a continuous function otherwise it is said to be a discontinuous function so see for continuity first of all this limit of function it should be exist if limit from left and limit from right if they are equal and if suppose it has some finite value then and then we can say that the limit of function it exists is equal to value of function value of function means what is the second prior condition value of function it should be well defined what is the first condition or what is the second condition limit of function it should be exist at that particular point limit exists means limit from left and limit from right it should be equal and what is the second power condition the value of function fa it is well defined then and then we can say that the function it is said to be a continuous function otherwise we can say that it is the discontinuous function now let us study this four graph suppose now see what is the condition for this first graph limit from left this is the left direction x equal to a it is the given point so if we approach x from the left hand direction so this function takes this value from the left hand direction and if we, if we approach x equal to a from the right hand direction then our function approaches towards this point so see limit from left this is the left hand limit and limit from right it is again the same so see what is the first case limit from left this is same as the limit from right what is our observation for the first graph limit from left and limit from right they are the same but the value of function it is some different value 
but this is not equal to value of function so obviously this is the discontinuous function so see how to check the continuity at the given point what is the condition for continuity we must have the limit from left limit from right and value of function we have all these three values must be equal if one of them is different so obviously it is the discontinuous function so if you observe this first graph then limit from left and limit from right they are the same but the value of function at x equal to a what is the value of function where given it is some different value so this is not equal to value of function so obviously this is the discontinuous function now if you observe this second graph so what is our observation this is the limit from left but limit from right it is some different value see what is the limit from left limit from left it has some value limit from right it has some different value but the value of function it has the same value so see what is the second condition for this graph limit from left this is limit from left limit from right it is the different so limit from left this is not equal to limit from right but what is the value of function it is equal to this limit from right so this is same as the value of function so see what is the what is this condition okay limit from left and limit from right they are different so limits are different means limit does not exist limit does not exist means we cannot compare with the value of function so obviously this is again the discontinuous function now what is the third observation this is our third graph suppose so what is our observation limit from left and limit from right it has the same value see what is the observation limit from left this is same as the limit from right this is the limit from left if we approach this x equal to a from the right hand direction then our function approaches to this value so limit from left and limit from right it has the same value but at x equal to a this function this is undefined there is no definite value so this is a from a this is un define so see what is this condition limit from left limit from right they are equal so obviously its limit exists but the value of function at x equal to a this is undefined undefined means we cannot compare with the value of function so obviously this is again the discontinuous function now see if you observe this fourth function this is a limit from left obviously it does not exist it goes to infinity suppose limit from right this again goes to infinity so neither the limit from left exist nor the limit from right exist as well as this value of function this is again does not exist so here neither the limit exists nor the value of function it is exist so see for the fourth graph limit from left this does not exist because it goes to infinity limit from right again it does not exist because again it goes to infinity and value of function this is again the undefined so obviously this is again the discontinuous function so see what is the logical definition of continuity if you draw the graph without lifting the pen then the function it is said to be a continuous function and if suppose there is some gap suppose this is the gap if we draw the graph with lifting the pen then it is said to be a discontinuous function so this is the logical definition of continuity and what is the mathematical definition of continuity this is the mathematical definition okay, if limit from left is equal to limit from right is equal to value of function then the function it is said to be a continuous function so thank you for watching